Hi everyone, it's Maeve and Kelly. And today we thought we would run through the Gula. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a Spanish brand. Going. They're over seventy six years old. Uh, so we got a load of their puzzles, and they're really well known in the puzzle section. So we thought we'd get their puzzles in, and we thought we'd have a really quick run through of them, just to show you them in a bit more detail. Sometimes it's really hard to grasp that online. Yeah. So let's start at the beginning with the age one to two. We have a couple of puzzles in that. Yeah, so they've got some lovely one to two puzzles. And um, we've got some peg puzzles here. And you can start off here with this little peg puzzle. So four pegs and we've just got plain colours in underneath. So really simple. Blue matches to blue. And then you've got yellow matching to yellow, pink and lovely little teal colour here. And as you get a little bit more progressive through your puzzles, you move on. We have got this farm animal one and it has little patterns underneath. So the pattern matches the cow. So if it's a Frisian cow, you've got black and white splodges and you've got black and white underneath the peg when you lift that up. And then this one is a little more complex because it's just the shape that matches. Whenever you lift your peg out, it's just grey underneath. So the child needs to learn that the shape needs to match as well as the colour or the pattern. So you can progress through those puzzles with your one to two year old. Now the great thing about those puzzles is the actual hand eye coordination and the manipulation of getting those shapes in is quite tricky. So that really helps with dexterity, colour matching, shape sorting. Fine motor skill as well. Fine motor skills, concentration, problem solving. There's so much to puzzles. They're such a great toy and they really help develop children. So I'll, to us might look like a quite a simple game when you kind of think oh you know there's not much to it but when you really think about all those different elements and skills that it will really help young children with these are age one to two perfect for that age um maybe for older children they might have slight you know um, medical issues or whatever but there's just so much to them so the dexterity and the shape sorting color matching and those so moving on we have another one for one to two and these are sensory oh this is sensory. i've lost a piece I've lost a piggy wig. Uh, so the sensory pieces don't have pegs. You lift those out as a whole piece. And with this sensory puzzle underneath, you have some lovely sensory fabrics that's lovely and soft and smooth. And again, it's got a little fluffy one underneath the chick and a little soft, fluffy Frisian cow there. And again, putting those pieces back in is just a matter of... So they're all different yeah. textures. Yeah. So great for Slightly teaching a child. textures. <laughs> They're lovely and soft, yeah. <laughs> Great for teaching basic farm animals. Yeah. Shape and because they're all different shapes, the animals. And I mean, as you play with this with your child, because they're one to two, so you'll be playing with them whenever they do these puzzles and encouraging them along. You can make the cow noises and teach them animal noises as you go as well. So, so it's great for communication. Animal. Yeah. And then the other sensory puzzle is slightly different. Where is that one? The sensory was on the board. This time it's on the shapes. Yep. Yeah, so the piece, so again, green matches green. But the sensory pieces are here. So you've got little felt arms and legs on your little frog whenever he slots in. And there's your little ladybird. She's got little holes on her so you can feel those. And a little lace antenna. And then you've got your little daisy with her little soft edges. And a lovely little blue butterfly. With I really like the butterfly. <laughs> but again you've got colours matching here as well so there's just another element so the puzzle. shape matching there's animals there's sensory there's, there's everything and again you can make the noise of a ladybird as you play uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay great so moving on then we've got age two puzzles and these are what's known as layered progression puzzles yeah so here we have a little butterfly so you've got some pieces here so you take off the wings and the body so effectively you've got three jigsaws in one and then underneath what does a butterfly come from there is its cocoon so you can take it out and there we have our little caddy pillar who's just eaten through a leaf so that's fantastic storytelling teaching about the progression of a yeah. butterfly the life okay. cycle you can do that so you can put there's loads the of that way. so again it's quite a simple puzzle but there's loads of different elements so as a child develops you can bring a lot more into it. Great for a story sack as well, because you could use that with the the very hungry caterpillar, which is always a favourite. And play that as you go through the book. So that's age about two to three. Yeah. 
So we've got the butterfly and then we've got a cow one, which is actually in reverse because there's cheese at the bottom, then milk, then cow on top. So it's slightly different. There's our cow. But again, so much to it. So staying on two. Yeah, ages two. So everybody loves a magnet game. And Gula are really good at magnet games. Oh, oh. So they've got a few different ones here. So we have a little fishing rod and then we have some shapes. So if I go for my bee, get my bee out and there's a little picture of a bee underneath so you know where to put it back. And again, you can play this just by lifting the pieces out or you can make it into a game. So you can take turns and matching them up. So great for communication again. There's a little spider and his little whip goes right the way up to the top. So great for teaching about down. bugs. Yeah. In a fun way. And oh, again, really cute. fine motor skills there. Yeah, fine motor skills, communication. You know, you can use it. They can take turns with it. They can play it by themselves. So you can create a little game and have some fun. Then we have our little wabbits. These are lovely. Um, you can stack them and you can play with them freestyle or you can follow the little cards that they've included. So the little cards have a progression from really quite simple to really more difficult patterns to follow. So you've got a series of cards that you can follow or you can play them by themselves and you can match the pieces colour. You can match them whether they're the right way up or upside down and then they just slot into each other and you can build them up. And if you do it like that or you can do it so they slide into each other like that. So again, it's teaching balance, it's coordination, it's concentration, it's problem solving. So there's so many different elements to puzzles. And it's really they're a really vital part of every young child's development. They're really, really important. I have just had Alfie's preschool review and a lot of that was focused around games and puzzles and how the children play with those together and how they play with them alone and building patterns and all sorts of things like that as well. So moving on, so that's all our age two. Oh no, we've one more. One more age two, and Which... talking of patterns. <laughs> this is a magnetic puzzle again. You've got little magnetic discs and you have some cards. So this is just one of the cards. You've got several different cards under here on this board. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's loads. And if you go underneath, there is just a little tray that has some dots. So you can play with the little discs freestyle and just plonk them in and make patterns however you choose. Help counting with them. Yep, count with them, colour match with them, sort them, or you can follow the patterns. So this is a blue disc and the mountain has one there and then you put them in the right place. And I've got five sheets in here so it's not going to stick just quite as well as it would if I just had one. But you can do your little pattern matching as well. And that's age two and actually most of the magnetic games are for a lot more older for age yeah. three plus. So it's really nice to see one for an age two. Um, and again... The patterns get a lot more complicated so once they can do the simple ones they can move on and then they can freestyle it and make shapes and everything so a great developing toy yeah so now we're on page three uh, age three we might as well stick with the magnetic creative puzzle and i love this one there's an awful lot to it again you've got a board with lots of different cards um so this one i have out of the alphabet so here i was making a u and it shows you how to do that and you can copy it and then as you get a little bit better, you can do it without copying it. So that's your U. And you're supposed to just line those up with the little squares underneath on the grid. And you can go through those. But there's loads of different little cards that you can follow in here. Um, so you can build a submarine. You've got letters. You've got funny faces. So all the cards are double-sided and you can play with those. And there's loads of different pieces and different shapes to do that with. And then, which I love about this one, this is great. You have a little chalkboard just underneath. So, so you can put a flower on and draw the background. Yep, yeah, so it's a magnetic chalkboard. You can stick your pieces on. You can draw extra little bits in to decorate however you wish. There are little holes on it so you can stick it up on a wall if you want to. Um, or you can just play with it. So Flash that's eight, this. three, but really that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, yeah, that's brilliant. Like, primary school toy preschool yep. toy it's fantastic it's really going to grow with them because there's just so much to it and it's really quite heavy so it's really good quality weight as well i think that's actually made in spain there's a mixture between gula some is made in spain and some is made in china, china but i think that's one of the spanish ones so the last three plus we'll we'll do the threading 
Yep, so the threading we have here. Let me just turn it around, sorry, so we can see it. Rachel went and got a little bag. So you've got a little cotton bag, which Velcro's at the top. And inside, you've got loads of different pieces and some cards and some laces. So you've got little cards that show you the different groups of animals. So again, it's progressive. You don't have to just thread one animal. You can make a progression. So you can just, there's one of the little example cards. And I have threaded my animals. And again, threading is so important for fine motor skills, problems like concentration. You really have to look at the card and copy it and make sure you're getting it right. Some really vital skills there. Yeah, so you can freestyle with it whenever they're a bit smaller. As they get a bit bigger, you can learn to follow the pattern and copy it across. And I think that comes with 16 animals and four threads yeah, four and threads a bag. And a bag and a few little cards. And then finally, the clock. Now I think... The timepiece de resistance. Yes. <laughs> It's big. It's very, very big. It is very big. I don't think when I ordered it, I realised it was this big. I mean, I know you, you can have, like, dimensions and stuff, but I didn't really envisage that it was this big. It's bigger than my head. Um, so we have here your little dates. So you can start across one first. You can move it across to this. You can bring it down onto the next row and bring it across to the end of the month. So we'll just follow that through. And, I mean, this is something my, my boy does every day in preschool. They have a leader every day. They have to set the date. They have to set the day. They have to set the time in their preschool meeting in the morning. And then they come back in the afternoon and refresh. So it's really good something to do in preschool that you can bring home and do in the house as well. So again, you've got days of the week here. And you've got little dots. So one for Monday, two for Tuesday, three for Wednesday. And then you've got your clock. And it does have all 24 hours in it as well. And it can show you as well. At the five minutes past, it has marked here that it's five minutes past on the clock. So it shows you which way you need to point your arms to make it match. So I think that's absolutely brilliant. And then you've got your months down here. You've got your seasons. And what's really here. good is if you look at the months, they coordinate with the seasons. So you've got the blue and the blue. So they'll understand yep. January, February, but of December is winter. And we're seriously, seriously warm here in the summer. It's very warm. <laughs> We've had it. Although today it's actually been quite overcast today, and it's been quite cool. But still, upstairs in the warehouse is very, very warm. And still, still. no rain. And no rain. I was told yesterday we were going to have torrential rain all day today, and they're going no, 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 no. We are still in much, 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 much sun. Try not to fall, make us fall over while I go. There we go. Today it's sunny. Brilliant. So there's so much to that. I mean, you you're learning. The time, the clock, multiplication because you've got your five minutes, counting because you've got the dots there, days of the week, days of the month, month seasons, weather, just an amazing all round um, and great to really build on that work that they do at school. I know I remember as a child really struggling with time, um, so something like this would have just, you know, we had one at school but to have it at home as well just really yeah, helped and to it that. really makes it fun too and something they can do every morning they get up to have their breakfast they tell you what the weather looks like outside and you can fix that on the clock it's just a bit of a routine as well which is good for some children yes and giving them that responsibility to do that each day or take it in turns if there's a few children yeah okay that is gula that is us done we are going to wrap this up because we know that you're all waiting for a certain sale our warehouse sale um so I'm going to go and press a button. We're going to go and press a button. Speak just later. Bye. Bye.